spot we have another unboxing and it should be a western digital hard drive an external one it should be cost me around about 180 pound and i'll stick a link in the video description in case you want to check it out yeah, there we go move the box out of the way nicely packed by amazon no overkill let's have a quick look around so yeah so this is the western digital elements and this has 10 terabytes of storage which is awesome so 20 years ago you wouldn't have dreamed of having something this big 10 terabytes that's humongous and uh, they're making them even bigger than that already so this is 10 terabytes and you might be thinking well do i really need 10 terabytes well if you have a lot to back up or you have a lot of movies and that and you want to put them on, on all on one unit this might be the baby for you so to get out of the box let's see what you get for your money this will be my second one believe it or not i've already got one and this is now going to be my second one. So, turn that away. So we have a two pin connection for your power socket, which I don't need. I need the three pin. So this is the three pin one already connected on. It has a little button in case you want to uh, swap them over, but we don't. That's quite tough. I'm not sure. Now to release that one. Oh, there you go. Ah, oh, I see. It's a pull-up. I didn't realise. Pull it up. So if you want to swap it over and put the other one on. So that's locked in. So, yeah. Oh, that's quite light, actually. Not too heavy. Nice bit of cabling, by the way. It looks like it's got a good length. I reckon that, I guess, I reckon that's probably about two metres. So, which you probably need most of the time. So that's really handy. Uh, USB 3 as that's a usb 3 to usb 3 different type of connection but they're both usb and then the main body let's have a quick look so there's the little rubber feet there's western digital what do we have on the back you have your usb connection there your mains connection that looks like a kensington lock in there and a on off button yeah, it looks very nice. I'm going to leave the wrapping on for now because we want to make sure it actually works because no point in me unwrapping it and then find out, oh, actually, it doesn't work. So with that, I'm going to plug it in. Right, I'm going to plug it into my keyboard just for demonstration purposes. This is not USB 3. It's only USB 1 or 2. I'm not even sure myself. So I plugged it in. It's made a beep, so the Windows has uh, recognised it straight away. Give it a few seconds for it to kick in. And this will work on Windows or Mac. Oh, there it goes. So it's just showing me a, a blank folder, basically. And we're going to right click and see how much it holds. So this holds 9.09 .09 terabytes. Yes, you heard it, terabytes. So I'm not sure how they justify saying it's 10 terabytes when it says 9.09 .09 terabytes. And it's used 394 megabits. Right, so that's good to know. Is it turned on? It's The light is on. I didn't need to turn it on. Let's see what the power button does. Probably not a lot. And there you go. So basically, it's a storage. Right, let's see how quick she transfers across. Bearing in mind that this is connected to... USB 2, I think that is, and not you, it's definitely not USB 3. Well, we'll see. There you go, so it's showing about 38 36 megabits a second. Not super fast, but then I wasn't expecting it to be super fast. As long as it copies over, it's fine with me. There you go, so now that's on now. Let's see if it plays. It should do. There you go. Oh, my back was dirty then. See that? And a cup of tea. And that works fine. No issue. Right, so I'm going to delete that. Do you want to see how quick it copied over? Bearing in mind, it's not actually copying over using USB 3. 
we're going to do now is go to the website. Right, so they have some software for you to download on Western Digital. It's entirely up to you whether you want to download it. They have um, utilities for Windows. And if you scroll down on their website, there is some other software that you can use. So if you want to do an image copy of your computer, that will do. This one here, Acronos True Image, will do that. Lifeguard Diagnosis basically what that will do will check to make sure this is working okay and if it's going to fail it will pre-warn you just wanted to show you what it can do it's just plug and play just connected it to my computer it come up you know within a couple of seconds no issues it all works does what it's supposed to do there's some utilities on western digital uh, website so if you want to download them whether you want to do a computer backup it's up to you or you can just chuck your movies, music, whatever you want on there. 10 terabytes. That's humongous. That is big. You know, you should get quite a lot of movies. I've got quite a lot of movies over there, and uh, it would probably take me several months to transfer them all over. Luckily, I've already got Western Digital uh, Storage Unit as well. I'm going to be using it for something else, and uh, I'll probably be chucking it. And if you don't know what shucking is, I'll uh, stick a link up there for you to watch all up there I'm not sure I think it's up there you'll see it come up there uh, click on that and that will I've done a video on chucking and I will be doing the same with this little baby as well so uh, nicely made by Western Digital it's only plastic casing I wasn't expecting it to be anything else I just can't get over that it's 10 terabytes and uh, looking forward to taking her apart so I just want to show you how to do or how to install this onto your computer and it's just plug and play and it definitely gets my thumbs up I think it's worth £180 definitely gets my thumbs up and hopefully this video will get your thumbs up if it didn't give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe thank you very much for watching 10 terabytes really or 9.09 to be exact